you can order the brake hoses used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Turn off your vehicle's ignition. Set the parking brake. Pull the hood release handle and open the hood. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Lift the front of your vehicle. We strongly suggest watching our video on how to jack your Ford F-150 safely before carrying out this step. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. In order to change the brake hoses on your vehicle, you will need to take off the wheel to have full access. Don't forget to put the wheels under the vehicle. Turn the disc inward to make this operation easier. Then, disconnect the ABS sensor cable from the brake hose. Using a ratchet and a 10mm socket, unscrew the brake hose clamp from the wheel knuckle. Hey, it's Alex from CarParts.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to support us, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, back to work. Using a ratchet and a 14 mm socket, unscrew the banjo screw connecting the hose to the caliper. Place a container to collect the fluid under the caliper, since the brake fluid may leak out. Using a 13 mm pipe spanner, unscrew the metal hose connection from the brake hose. Then, using a flathead screwdriver, remove the brake hose retaining clip. Unclip the vacuum lines from the brake hose retainer. You can now remove the hose. You can order the brake hoses used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Take the new brake hose, then insert it from its upper part. Secure it with the clip provided in the kit. You can purchase the parts we used here by visiting our website at carparts.com. Screw the metal hose connection back on a few threads by hand. Then finish with the pipe spanner. Get the new copper gaskets and the banjo screw. Install all of them on the hose. Screw the banjo screw that connects the brake hose to the caliper back in. Complete the tightening of the fastener with a torque wrench. Reclip the vacuum lines to the brake hose bracket. Screw the brake hose mounting bracket back on. Replace the ABS sensor cable in its slot. When replacing a brake hose, you need to bleed the brake fluid system to remove air from the system. To do this, we suggest watching our video, How to Bleed the Brake Fluid System Ford F-150. Then, you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put the car back on the ground and block the wheels properly. Don't forget to screw the brake fluid cap back on before starting the car. Operation completed.